This is your boy, Fifth of Sam, chilling with the crew. This is tap to tap to tap. 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 Hey. Yes. Sir. What's up, y'all? What it do, everybody? Yo, man, I'm chilling with Sea Breeze. And hey. we're here with Evie as well. Hello, 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 hello. We do have a special, special guest with us this evening. Yes, we Evie, do. Evie, go ahead and take it away real quick. Yes, it is with Orner and she'll present this beautiful woman of God. Let me tell you. She is a worship leader, mm-hmm. singer, mm-hmm. songwriter, mm-hmm. Yeah, so. content creator, mm-hmm. event coordinator. Oh, there's a lot. Mm-hmm. And she is a nursing student. Guess what she's studying? What's that? Midwife. Let's Come on now. Okay. okay. So I am very <laughs> happy to introduce you guys to Miss Christella. Yeah. Oh. What did you do, Christella? Welcome, Chris welcome. I'm glad to be here. Hey. <laughs> Don't be awkward now. Hey. Don't be awkward. No, she said she have to, you know, be humble. You okay. Know? okay. All okay. that shot. That's humility. Thing, yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. humility, okay. I got you. Because if you pop off, then yeah. you might not stop. I get you. I get you. <laughs> I don't want to be prideful. You don't want to be prideful? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Humble yourself, you hear? Yeah. Humble yeah, yourself. Humble yourself. Man, so we're going to get straight into it, man. Let's you go. feel me? We're going to get straight into it. So the topic, you know, since we got... Sing a song, writer, and the cut, Christella. We're going to start into, how did you get into all of that? How did you get into, well, the artist part, the singer, you know, singer? aspect? I mean, at first, I didn't feel like I knew how to sing, you feel me? But mm-hmm. since I was young, I've been singing, worshiping. Uh, my dad got me into it, honestly, teaching me Shonda Spirit songs. And then, mm. But I started off with, like, tech, so putting stuff on the board. Okay. lyrics and stuff so i learned songs through there reading lyrics correcting it i was just behind the scenes yeah. and i really kind of opened up when i went to lick yo i think mm-hmm. Talk about second it. year maybe the third Talk year about, I, I don't think everybody know what lick yo is oh yeah yeah can you briefly oh you, you know okay. let, let, let everybody know what lick yo like is christian camp where different churches come together worship god learn more about god Haitian and connect Haitian, yeah yeah <laughs> But I swear I, I seen a Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this year. We all yes, did. Yes, Multicultural. Yes, we did. Yeah. <laughs> so stepping up. Yeah, we were learning more about God and fellowship with different churches. So I've met a lot of people throughout oh. six years I've been going. Yeah. Wow. I think this year makes seven. Yeah, we've been wow. going for a minute. It's been yeah. a minute. Faithfully. Been, yeah. Wow. Faithfully for yeah. Sure. That's so, dope. That's dope. So um so when you got into when you said you started, um, you started taking it seriously through Lake Yo. So that was like what when like twenty seventeen. I don't know. I don't remember the date for real. It's the same year. Um, what's that man name? Al- Alan Michael? No, that's not his name. I Andy know he's talking about. He's talking about Andy, Andy Michael. So, he thought it was twenty eighteen. I did BGB. I was twenty. Yeah. Twenty eight. Around there. Yeah. Twenty nineteen. I did the BGB for him. right before the pandemic. It was twenty nineteen. Yeah, right before. The pandemic. Okay. Yeah, about twenty nineteen, twenty eighteen. So That's I was good. just like figuring out my voice doing BGV. So yeah. BGVs, all right. Dope. Yeah. So, um, oh, any more? I was gonna ask, Go like, ahead. when did you know for sure that you know being a worship leader was your calling? I'm gonna put it your calling. Like, that's what God wanted you to do. That's what she really wanted to do. Wow. wow. Oh, before you even answer that, <laughs> let me add it to that. Let me add it to that. Let me add it to that. <laughs> Shout out to the whole calling culture that we be in. Nowadays, do you even believe that is your calling? Yes. Singer song. Okay. I doubted at first. Okay. But when I there was a point of time I left my church. Mm-hmm. I just I was like done with them, you know, church hurt. Yeah. But and when I was sitting in somebody else congregation, I wasn't doing nothing. I felt like, yo, what am I doing here? I felt worthless. Mm. Can't do nothing for the kingdom. I'm sitting, I'm standing like everybody else. I'm like, no, I'm supposed to be on the stage. I'm supposed to be ministering to your people. So that's when I really like took it serious for her and went back. And now I'm there officially. Feel me? That's good. Shout out to All right. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah. All right. So um, what you would call it? Oh, anyway. All right. So when it came to ministry, how so how long you been in ministry so far? I'd say five years. About five years? All right. Yeah. So in five years, what exactly have you been learning so far? Wow. What you been learning? It's not about how good you sound it's your posture mm, i like that and really learn how to sing in spirit and in truth not because the songs go together 
but are you really living it mm-hmm. and walking in it and practice what you preach for real yeah yeah you know, your life is your ministry your life that's it your life is your first ministry honestly yeah. so yeah you know before you go on that stage trying to minister like does your life match yeah. you know what you're trying to do in front of people Facts. that's that's a good that's a good thing a good thing to do yeah. um you know since you were talking about that i wanted to know like when you're preparing a set for a sunday morning or sunday night or lake or for camp like how does how do you do it? What is your process and then how things work for you? A lot of prayer. So I'd be like, yo, God, chill. Like, <laughs> really? <laughs> okay, when I first let Lake Yo, Sam hit me up the same week. I'm like, yo, God, chill. I know I said I want to be working here. <laughs> like you even get a chance to plan or nothing, but you gotta be ready whenever time. Cause when Jesus comes back, he gonna just you feel me? But Prayer, a lot of prayer. Um, I've been trying to get into fasting with it, but prayer, get into my word. Mm-hmm. I try to go based off of the theme to make sure the songs match. Mm-hmm. Does it connect? Do people know the song too? And yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. That's important. I remember like the first time I met her, like she was extremely, still is, extremely humble. You know what I mean? And having the gift of worship and not being boastful about it, it's, you know, um, it's not common nowadays because, you know, as soon as somebody know how to hit a note, <laughs> can nobody tell them nothing. Because of the <laughs> <laughs> you know it's what I mean? Your and, and nowadays, like, um, you know, we, we take worship as performances, <laughs> right? I think everybody's on stage, not everybody, um, but a lot of people are on stage performing, you know, who can hit the highest note, who could do the longest run, um, it's all good. You need to know how to sing, first of all, to to be on that stage. For sure, like, that, that that has to. You be need a some thing. skill. You need a skill. You, need you know, <laughs> you need a skill. But what we have to uh, be, you know, uh, conscious of is that you're not Kurt Franklin. You know, you're you're not Ty Tribbett. Those are mainstream, you know, artists. You know, um, you should always, you know, want to be uh, prepared and put the best, you know, worship possible for God. Yes. Yeah, it's for the glory of God. Mm-hmm. Um, but you have to lead people into worship, right? And when you see that in certain people, and she definitely had she it, have, you know, you, you have to push, you know, people like that. Because I think the church is missing that nowadays. Mm-hmm. Leading people, backing up what you said, whether it's two people in front of you or a hundred, okay. <laughs> come on, you got to lead the same worship. Praise, you still praise the same God, whether two or three are gathered, God is, with, is among us, so... You yeah. just have to do it that way. So what are some pros and cons of being in a worship leader? Ooh. <laughs> that's, that's, that's a good one. Yeah. Uh, pros. Okay. I get to, I guess, a closer relationship. I get to share my testimony with people through song. Because most people, I guess, I, I want people to feel. If I'm singing something, if I'm singing, say people, I want you to feel like, yeah. I want God to be real close to me, you feel me? Mm-hmm. Um, cons, too much eyes on me. <laughs> like, I'd be on that stage. Uh, 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 Why are you staring at me? I'm telling you to move your head. If I say no, if I say no, you're just staring at me. I just feel like the, mic but, yeah, the lack know. of like interaction, I felt that. Bro. Like, people stand up on their feet. People just stand up. That's why you you start having questions in your mind. You know? <laughs> when it's right, like, <laughs> is the song hidden? Like, <laughs> look, ain't nothing song. Did right. I pronounce it right? Yeah. Right, and I repeat it again. Uh-huh. Yeah, I repeat it. Right? <laughs> wait, once the song stops to, to say it clearly, loud and clearly, and they still like staring. Yeah, are, are you one of those that motivate people to, you know, put their hands up to praise? I and, try. Yeah. And if I do motivate, I'll close my eyes because if I look at you, I'm going to be like, no, nah, ain't no way. <laughs> <laughs> is, God really, like, is God doing something in your life for real? Like, right. And some of the stories you hear, like, especially the binding people coming through them forces and coming. Oh, she's coming for the binding people. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, I've seen some things. You yeah. don't want to worship. A- I haven't seen a Lugao in my life. We got to find what a Lugao is. No, I don't know what it means. <laughs> <laughs> bye, bye. Mm-hmm. Oh, shout out to my early tattoo. Yeah. <laughs> That's a job. You know what I mean? That's a job, okay? 
Yeah, if you don't know, let me go go watch some other videos. You feel me? Go oh, watch the old one. Yeah. And yeah, so I feel like they've been through it for real. And you should be grateful you still can't be in God. Worship. Yeah. And God, that's um I'm grateful. Being <laughs> great. Yeah, Thank and you. great. And Thank great. <laughs> great. <laughs> yeah, I feel you on that because a lot of times I used to be that worship leader, right? Hey, uh, put your hands up and let's give God praise and everything else. Then I start telling the public, like, you know what God has done for you, right? Like, you don't need no motivation, man. Like, your life is the motivation. It should be motivation nice. enough. The fact that you woke up this morning should be motivation enough. The fact that you're breathing. You know, yes. like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But we have to understand that the way that we see worship might not be the way that you know the audience 90 percent of the audience i don't know about you guys have y'all ever been deep in worship where you forgot about the crowd yeah heavens yes what yeah. and how does that moment feels like it feels great but like at my church it's like there's a time limit right. <laughs> <laughs> so i can feel my pastor's presence behind me like hey come on wrap yeah. it up yeah. but it's like damn can we really get into this deep worship they need it yeah. But hey. Uh, I think it's a struggle between worship leaders and time and church, you know, with with me, I, I don't even think it's like between like worship leaders and time. I think it's more so like is everybody really locked in, you know? Cause at the end of the day, whether whether it's um whether somebody singing, preaching, reading, whatever the case may be, or praying, mm -hmm. it's like at the end of the day, it's still worship one, and at the end of the day, we're still talking about or talking to the same person. So it's like, are you are you still aware that even though I'm singing, I'm doing the same thing as the pastor that's about to do when he comes up next, mm -hmm. which is worship. Mm -hmm. So it's like so it's like I feel like I feel like there needs to be an attentiveness to reading the room, you know, or reading the atmosphere or what's going on in the building. Cause I've I've witnessed a lot of times where um pastor was about to go preach, but he said no. And he was like, nah, I'm gonna let the worship keep going. Because the whole because Spirit there is something here yeah. that, that is moving and that needs to keep moving right now. But that so, person has to be connected. Exactly. Right? The, they need, there needs to be an attentiveness between everybody, whether you're preaching, singing, praying, reading, whatever the case may be. Like if you you can you need to be attentive to like um you need to have spiritual discernment. Yes, discernment doesn't just go to like people who whether um to just make decisions of like, oh, is this person a good thing or is this a good thing or not? The sermon is not just about making uh, decisions of people's whether it's right or wrong. The sermon can also be determining whether the spirit wants to keep going in a certain direction. Yes. So, like, I, I believe like a lot of churches in general and the ministries in churches, everybody there, when you're a part of the service, be attentive to what's going on. Because yeah. there's going to be a time, in my opinion, I believe there's all there might be a time where in a service... There's no need for a preacher, but there's not even a need for the time of the uh, of the worship team because somebody's speaking a good word right now, or somebody's singing a good word, and they want they want the Holy Spirit to guide them right now through this song or guide them right now through this word, you know. So I believe, and even when it comes to prayer, prayer, I don't know. Lately, I've been getting a lot into prayer. Prayer has been real dope. So it's like when people pray, like, don't say Amen yet. <laughs> like, I be, I be, I be in my head like, don't say amen yet, real quick. Let the piano keep playing, let the music keep doing their thing, and you keep praying, you keep calling down heaven, so I could just go down and just like really have my moment with God. And I, this just needs to be attentiveness in churches. That's what it, I think. it does. And I'm glad you said the opposite because you know I thought you were gonna go off the the rails for for a minute. You know, when you said there's no need for the preaching, no, nah, like, a lot of people was gonna come for you. Yeah. Right? Facts. <laughs> <laughs> But I, I get, I, I do get it, and those two things go hand in hand. Like when you have a yeah. pastor, you know that understand worship, mm -hmm. and and the worship team and the worship leaders, and the worship team understand the, the pastor. pastor as well. Man, it's a beautiful thing where you know those two things, you know, connected together, and you can offer God a, wor a worship, literally a worship that is worthy of His name, and the word will be spoken without, you know, force. Forcing it, you know, and everybody's gonna be willing to uh, re uh, receive it because it's the work of the Holy Spirit. You know, we've seen it, like, like you said, like pastors, you know, understand that and says, you know, let's let let the worship, you know, continues. And 
like, tell me this. Like, we will sit through an hour of a bad sermon. And don't tell me you never heard a bad sermon in your life. Come on. <laughs> We've all been witness <laughs> to a bad sermon. Bro. As much as people have been witness to a bad worship. A bad worship. Yeah. A worship yeah. a bad but a bad worship will cut like fast in the Fast in the preaching. Yeah. But you can't cut a bad preaching. You can't. Yeah. You, you can't. You go get that boy his out. Bad preaching. But man, like, nah, that's that's actually wonderful, man. But is do you do any other type of ministry within the church, or is it just singing? Because you like um, earlier, she introduced you as a singer songwriter. Yeah. Right. Well, where did that come from? Wow, that's where did that come from? I just I was one day I was driving, the melody came to my head. I started recording because I got the post recorder on my phone. Started recording, coming up with lyrics. I literally took for my song. I have a song out that's called "Have Your Way." I did that in one take. What platform is that song on? YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> it's on all platforms, I think. Yes, yeah, it's, 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 it's on all platforms. All right. <laughs> Under what name do you? So, is your artist Christella, name? E- Christella Yvonne. Christella Yvonne. Yvonne. Yes, sir. Go on YouTube. All, oh, all platforms, right? All platforms. The link gonna be in the description. <laughs> the link will be in our bio. Yeah. Oh, all right. So make sure you go check it out. Yes. Yeah. And I got another song out too, without God. That's when I was like, "What's that one without God?" Yeah, without mm-hmm. God, without God, everything is impossible. But with God, everything is possible. Yeah. Okay. What was the inspiration behind that? I think you were about to get to the story. Yeah. Um. Just me being in a real bad place. Yeah. I didn't know what the, what I wanted to do with life, honestly. And it came with like, do I still want to do ministry? Do I still want to go to school? Should I drop out? It was just like a a lot. Yeah. yeah, that season I really had to trust God, let Him take control for real. So mm-hmm. yeah, that's cool. do it. Yeah. I don't know. Would you Would you mind if you tapping into like being a like the struggle of a worship leader when you have to fit in the crowd and then you also have to fit yourself and get it? Ooh, as a, you need you need that break though. You need time to yourself as well because you can have gigs back to back, back to back, but you need time that you need to be poured into. You pouring into others, but you need that to get poured into. Tap yeah. in with God, get intimate with him, and really Agreed. let him fill you up. Agree. So when you're like in those seasons, how do you how do you deal with those seasons? You know, because it's like <laughs> I go back to my prayer closet, honestly. Um I used to doubt. But when you remember God is always there, even if you don't feel him for real, he's there. Stop doubting. Mm-hmm. Like he's he's the same guy yesterday, today, and forevermore. He's not gonna leave you. Never gonna forsake you either. Right. Yeah, so. So. Even then, we but we still go to that season where it's like yeah, okay, facts. like like you know Quite one season we're happy. Really yeah. we, I think we do. I feel like there's season we're like we're so happy. Like God did it for me. You know, right. like I have a big God. And then the next season you're like, man, what is going on? I don't even think we quit to forget. We quit to forget because what we went through is bigger than what we are going through. But because we are within this, you know, dark place, we forgot that God brought us out of much more, you know, something that that was greater. And if we take examples of, you know, the people that He delivered in the Bible. We are not going through nothing, y'all. Imagine being inside of a whale. Come on. Man. I can't hey, man. <laughs> take me down. <laughs> take me down, cuz. What? In the well is crazy. In the well, bro. Like, they, they had to go through a lot, man. Imagine the lady, you know, 12 years, mm-hmm. you know, dripping blood. Like, you know, that that's, that's tough stuff. I don't think, like, we are encountering the things that, Yes, we're going through things. We are. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to downplay what somebody else is going through. But when you read those stories in the Bible, you're like, man, if they could, you know, come out of that, if God could bring them out of that, then my situation is nothing, you know, that God can't do. So, yeah, man, that, that's pretty dope. Like, you have to uh, do it. You know, um, let me ask you an advice. Because I'm going to ask because we were talking about that. So, there's one day I was calling to, um, you know, social media platform. And then I saw a worship leader, and he he or she, I don't want to say who. It's a he. <laughs> oh, you told it. You told it. He or she. Oh, you told it. He or she. He said he. He or she. You told it. Whatever. Okay, he. He posted something on 
you know, he put it some he put something out there where it's like, I guess a break. Like I wanted a break. Mm-hmm. And then I was like, I was thinking to myself, I'm like, as a, if you're doing the works of God in a way, and I'm not saying you cannot take a break. Like, when do you know to take a break? When do you know that God is not still using you to help other people? Or maybe I was biased. I was like, why would you start something just to end it if you are serving a God that, you know, that's here forever and then you still, that's still going to use you through that season and a lot of people's, you know, being blessed by it. I mean, it, it depends. Like, is God calling him to do other things, other ministries? Because, like, with me, like, when I took my little break, I, I I realized that not only that I'm a worship leader, um, I'm an advice giver, event coordinator. I help out in different ministries at my church as well, women's ministry. And I learned so much through that as well, through my break. So it, it either can build you or break you. Mm-hmm. So it depends. Sometimes we take breaks to be selfish. Be like, eh, this is too much. <laughs> and it's not even your timing to take that break for real. Mm-hmm. But I feel like you should pray on it. There's times too that I feel like, damn, what am I doing in this season? I just gotta start praying. And God's just like, okay, this season, you're gonna serve others. This season, you're not singing. Help somebody out. Donate some money to the nonprofits. Stuff like that. So because oh. there's always other ways for you to minister. Yeah, oh. yeah so but <clears throat> that break could be something different, though. You know, because being young, right? We, we, we yeah, tend to, you, to get emotional you know, and <laughs> in certain things. Okay. Things. okay. Certain things. Okay. A lot of things. Hold okay. up. So let let's talk about these sins real quick. Yes. Right? Because we don't we're not exempt. You know, as worship leaders, as, you know, people who are in the front line, we're not exempt from sin. At all. Right? I don't know. But people think we are. Right? And I think that's why we hold pastors to this standard. Yeah. You know, that is not fair. It's not fair at it's all. It's not fair because they too are sinners. Yeah. And they, they too sin. They fall short. Right? They fall short. Right? And and some, they they... They did that to themselves because they put themselves, you know, in that category of... They're human, man. You know, human, like this holy person that does not It's too holy for me. Right? But what happened when you do recognize that, man, I'm drowning in sin. And if I'm drowning in sin, I need to take that break so that I can be restored so I could have enough not only to pour into me, but to pour into somebody else. Like, when do we make that decision? I don't know, like, right then and there, just take that break. And I feel like you should have good friends that um, support you, that's praying for you, mm-hmm. and helping you build up. And not, you know, talking hey, you. not talking about you. Not talking about you. If they're going to talk about you, it's to your face, not to your back. Okay. Oh, and that was, as in convicting in a good way. Yeah. But not. Bored! <laughs> <laughs> Put that on a shirt. Because you can correct somebody for real with righteousness and not just, oh, looking at, um, stick in their eye and not taking the one in your, out mm-hmm. of your eye and judging and not judging yourself first. I have a mentor. Her name is Merlene. Okay, um, shout out to Merlene. Shout out, Merlene. Shout out, shout out to Merlene. Man. You're doing a great job. Yeah. Indeed. She pours into me a lot. Nice. Yeah. Woman of God, for real. And what drew you to her? Wow, um, I was seeing her on Instagram. I was actually scared to um speak to her. She's a prophet, so I'd be scared of prophets. I'm like, damn, they can put my business out. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, but it wasn't. I, uh, she had to let me know, like, I'm not a genie. I'm not gonna just rub about it and tell you what you want to hear. You feel me? It's whatever God puts in my heart to tell you. And sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad, but it's good for my well-being to better me you feel me um but she really pours into me tell me when like i'm tripping correct me and i, I love that even though i don't mm. want to hear it but i need it yeah not everybody gonna do it for you though and you're open to receive it yes yeah and that that, that yes. is the, the the biggest thing you know because sometimes we're not open to criticism at all you That's know true. especially if it's constructive <laughs> all right some of us like just don't like to be corrected Facts. all right and I think our culture does that a lot. You know, we think uh, constructive criticism, especially on the age. Yeah, constructive criticism is is like a form of like disrespect or belittle uh, and stuff like that. But if somebody is cared care enough to tell you 
that you're going down the wrong path, like you should really consider that person. Yes. 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 That's a real friend. The Bible says test all prophecies, you know, test test everything that people tell you. Mm-hmm. Doesn't mean to turn away from it, but to always be have a keen ear to like anything that somebody tells you, yes. whether it's good or bad, and actually go back to his word and go back to him and verify. Yeah. Yes. Like, hey, is this Lord? Lord, somebody told me this. I'm not even brushing Bob, but yeah. is, is it, it true? Is it coming is from, it, is it coming from, from me? me? Yeah. <laughs> is it for me? I know they said it. I know they said it. I know it for me. You might be saying it for her, but I was in front of her. Yeah. But what happened? You heard it. I just happened to hear it. Right? Pulled it at me. They meant to the press somebody. Yeah. There's somebody like, in the but, room. The, when, when the pastors be preaching, and they're like, you have a calling on your life. You're like, no. <laughs> I felt like he was talking to me. <laughs> he pointed at me. Pointed at me. You know, um, verify, man. Yeah, no, that's good, man. All right, so I'm gonna ask the question that you know, um, you're young, right? And you're not married. No. Okay, so let's talk about this dating life. Oh, Lord. Like, how does that look like for a young worship leader, songwriter? You know, oh. um, <laughs> content creator. Content creator. <laughs> <Coordinate. laughs> you because you you're busy. Yeah. Right. And you need you need time. <laughs> you need time to dab into, you know, the dating scene. Oh no, I don't t- no, I don't you dab, don't dab in. into no, the dating scene. No, no. I want my degree. I'm mm, trying to okay. graduate. She like, is like, focused. I, like, <laughs> focus, focus. I don't have the time to really talk to you. And I know people are like, oh, you make time for who you want. No, like sometimes I just probably want to shut down. I don't want to speak to you. I want to study right now. Okay. And it's hard to explain. And you gotta break it down. Oh yeah, I can't talk to you. Not <laughs> 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 the break. Not the break. I thought that's so heavy, bro. No, and I'm like, break it down. I don't want to depend on no guy. The past musicians. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Hold up. That's a that's not Man, a little I'm a musician episode. myself. Uh, shout out to all musicians. <laughs> Oh, what, does, what does that mean? Let's talk about it. The musicians are not loyal, huh? Not all of them. Not all Thank of you. Them. Not and all I feel of like them. it was just some of them probably was not good for me, but the next person the gave them the whole world to play. Oh my gosh. Yo, musician, <laughs> musicians in church, especially the piano players. Oh, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, play with your heart. <laughs> they, know the, they know the right notes. <laughs> In the <laughs> That's crazy. They have all the chords. <laughs> Yo, man, That's crazy. I feel for you if you have a young woman that you are raising at a church Bro. with young piano and Woo. drummers. No, the fun <laughs> I feel for those parents. Man, I <laughs> crazy. I'm gonna say all of them are bad, but all of them. Some of them. The majority of them. The no, it's shout not out it. to the good side. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's good musicians. Yeah. There is. So, so the only reason why you would say like no to it is because you focus on your yeah, education. Yeah, I don't want no distraction. Like you don't. Yeah. But you said something about you don't want to depend on men. Like, can you elaborate more? Because that came in a lot. Yeah, of... <laughs> and be taking the wrong way. Yes. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, uh huh. I'm very independent. One thing okay. about me, if we're going right. on a date, she gotta go to the BS <laughs> Both of us, you feel me? Not saying I'm a big baller, but I got us. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Some people mm. believe in half and half, or he gotta pay for everything. But what's wrong with me paying for everything? Okay, I might be a simp, like but <laughs> you been talking the same. <laughs> no, but I, I, I just, I guess I had the fear of. Him paying and he gonna be like, oh, I did this for you. You though. owe me something. Yeah. Oh, that's, you, that's you know, real. Yeah. <laughs> 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 what are you coming from? Like, like, money back. <laughs> but you know what? Like relationship, there's expectation on both sides, and we, we have to be truthful to ourselves, right? There's expectations on both sides, and I love the fact that you said, you know, uh, you don't mind paying for a date. I don't. Yeah, that's fine, right? But. Let the man be the man, and you still be who you are. <laughs> so you saying you know? I've had one guy ask me for flowers. I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah, he was like, "Where's my flowers at?" Like, oh. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> 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 was he a piano player? Guitar? Right. Yeah. He on the back side. Yeah. No. I don't know about all that. <laughs> 
Too much for that, though. That's why Gen- we're getting it's flowers. It's generation, though. It's I'm, not not saying, I'm not saying there's no problem with getting flowers. I'm not about to go on a date and ask a girl where my flowers at. That's why. <laughs> Yo, what if you want to have a wild statement? Don't bring me no flowers. Like, don't do that. Don't do that. What did you think I brought? I am not going to a date. Where my flowers at? 2024, 2085. Don't bring me no flowers. I've never in my life asked for that. And the end man to do with like you know like no I'm not I'm not even gonna do it I'm not gonna go. I guess it's I don't like the shot. I don't like the shot. The only flowers I wanna see is them salad. But what? But then wait. What do you think about it though? Because I wanna hear your opinion on that. Did you bring up flowers? You real sassy. No. I just laugh. Like what are you doing? That's what I'm saying. Uh, I'm like to laugh at a lot of things. Like you say something crazy, I'm gonna laugh. Cause are you being for real? I would have brought you a book. Uh-uh. Good it's thing you not. ain't bring it, cause all the clowns, you ain't no one. All the clowns. I be back with the flowers, bro. Hey, bro. No, <laughs> we're not doing that. But you will accept flowers. I will. I will be a flower girl at first. Why not? So like, what type of flowers you like? Uh, roses? Shout know. out, shout out. He's a shout out. Shout out. <laughs> shout out to my musicians out there. Shout out to the musicians out there. She like roses. <laughs> Go crazy. Uh, I didn't think I was a flower person for real, but yeah. it's it actually smells good. Mm. I see why the movie you put in the movie like some roses. <laughs> <laughs> Outcast had a song, man. Uh, what is it? Rosie smell like dude. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> ooh. Yeah, I'm not no, a guy. Like, dude, no like the water that be on it, like D E W. Do is it do? Yeah, I don't know what he meant like by water it. Dude. <laughs> well, I think, okay, if you said it, yeah. then I said it. <laughs> I've been trying to figure it out. You I know, never call water do. That's for me. I never do that. <laughs> but that's pretty dope. I didn't know that. That that might be a thing. That's probably what he meant. <laughs> But I ain't gonna lie, I be scoping the scenery, you feel me? But because I was at the um the PYA event, that's a fine little. Uh, oh, Penny, Penny, you Penny, Penny, it was good. It was shout good. out to Penny for real. Yeah. yeah. So who you were you like the piano player? <laughs> I don't think I ain't dropping no names. <laughs> not dropping no names. Uh, piano player, you just heard it. I ain't dropping <laughs> no names, nah. Uh, yeah. No, good sight though. I like the look. My touch. Okay, yeah. okay. I used to talk to I used to like holler at guys like feel me drop some gems. So, but I stopped though. So why, it's he stop? who finds a wife. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I had to you stop. ain't doing the chasing. <laughs> it was fun though, because you see a guy giggle, it's so cute. <laughs> no, we not remember. She just said she stopped. That's yeah. All right, that's crazy. Now, yeah. guys like to chase, man. Let them chase. Oh, a guy should like to chase. Okay, <laughs> should. Now, I don't know what it is now. I get tired sometimes. <laughs> Chasing that? No, some guys. Be the All my life. Oh. Hey, at some point, you're not the person I'm supposed to be running after. Wow. <laughs> Are you really not persistent? No, I'm persistent. But the girls got to understand when to chill out. No, nah, I like to play hard, out, hard to get and see how long you're That's the really between going. hard to get and can't get. That's, <laughs> that's two different things. True, true. You chasing. You, you just, need, you just <laughs> want a meal out of me. <laughs> Oh, God, that's the difference out of that. Just let me know. Are you into this before I swipe? <laughs> Show oh, me that you try to get caught, at least. <laughs> at least. At least look like you want me to tag you or something. Yeah, you got a chance. That's crazy. Man, that's crazy, man. And, you know, like, people call us, you know, boring because we are in the church and uh, I guess we're not supposed to have fun. But the most fun people that I know, the most funny people I know are are church goers, dog. Man. Like real talk, like we have jokesters in the church, man, and Too we many. have <laughs> mad, <laughs> mad <laughs> fun. <laughs> you know, we true. get around each other. Like it's like every other environment. You know, we create our own fun. It might be pure, you know, and it's us. So it's we have it. so shout out to um. The content creator side of you, oh, you know. Lord. Yo, hey, I, do you see her content, bro? Them grooming, though. Them old ladies, be <laughs> Christella, bro. Oh man, 
I gotta be a job in today, maybe today or tomorrow. Today or tomorrow? Yeah, so you're kind of <clears throat> like, uh, I ain't gonna ruin nothing. Now, by the no time way. this come out, it would have already been dropped. <laughs> 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 All right, so I'm gonna just say it. Anyway, so basically, I just wanted to do like uh, verses, like this generation, the old generation praying versus this new generation praying. All right, it is. Different. And this new generation don't know how to speak Creole. Yeah. Have y'all yeah. seen that? Yeah. Yeah, that's 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 Man, right. your presence. <laughs> Yo, the Kringlish be funny sometimes. I can't lie. Does, man. It I does. Can't lie. You know when I started embracing like worshiping and and the Creole thing is when I went to mission in Haiti. Yo, we did a three hour segment of worship, and these people will not stop. Like it's worship and prayer, worship and prayer. Three hours. Like here in the states, man, thirty minutes. Everybody sing there. <laughs> yeah, right. You know, not you even you 30, 30, 30, 30, you know, thirty minutes. Everybody's sitting down, man. But we do need to embrace, you know, um, our culture a lot more. I, I think that's something that I, I needed to work on, you know, as well. We don't appreciate it because we are in it, you know. And when we're looking at, you know, at it from a different uh, culture, then we're like, man, yeah, I, I need to embrace this Creole thing. Yeah. yeah. I didn't get to Compa until like... 2000. Like a, a year ago. <laughs> yeah, a year or two ago. <laughs> Bro, what? I, I, just, I was not a fan of compa like that. I didn't know how to play. I didn't know. I didn't know the words. I like. Cause I feel like only Haitians listen to compa. Tell you, I'm like, no. Everybody, that's a Mexican music. No, you do not hear compa at the mall. Of, <laughs> I tell, I tell you this though. I tell you this. I recently traveled to Canada. Do you know, like, I walk inside of a mall and I heard hardcore Haitian Creole. I mean, a lot of Canadians, Canadians are... What, Haitians? Some Haitians are, that, some Haitians are there in Montreal. There are a lot of Haitians in Montreal. There's a lot. That's a, that's there's a lot of Haitians over there. There's a lot of Haitians here. That's what I'm saying. You are all walking through the mall and hear Haitian Creole. America is different than Canada, though. <laughs> America is crazy right now. You go lie. <laughs> you know? So Two different like, days, dog. I don't know. I walked inside the mall, and I, I feel proud, man. Like, just hearing that sound right. and knowing that it's associated with... You know yeah. our culture like that's it, it gives but in, a sense of pride. to ask you though um crystal like do you feel like when you're worshiping are you more of a like creole type of worship creole. She is. <laughs> oh, yeah. everything from the sun is creole from death that's her creole i love it i'm i love worship more than copa that's just me i do i literally I got into copa maybe the end of last year i'm not a fan of it I love it, but it's just like, well, I feel like I want to go in here. <laughs> I don't know. And Maybe it's getting it's to that me. point now. You know, I was, now I, yeah, it's getting to that nice point. Talk. I recently was watching a video at a church, and I'm like, this, there's no difference between this and a bat. Mm. Right? Like, <laughs> when, when are we going to do the separation? <laughs> the musicians are not going to agree because oh, they don't want to bring it. <laughs> they don't want to bring it. Let's, no, you can hear the difference, though. Let's, That's a difference. let's talk about it. Let's Church talk about Popeye it. Let's versus talk about it a little you bit. You can hear the, di- you can yeah, hear yeah, the yeah. difference. There is some differences. Some differences. But, but let me, as a musician. Okay. 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 Let me speak okay. for my musicians out there. You feel me? Um, You know, I was practicing some Popeye hey, at my house. Mm-hmm. I was practicing... I'm, I'm gonna be real now. Mm-hmm. I'm practicing um Bishop Monse or whatever, right? I'm practicing that. But I'm on the leap. That's all going crazy. Yeah. Uh, and, and it's a minor song. And then when I was practicing yeah, it. Like, we supposed to know what a minor song is? All right. Um, it makes you wanna cry. Go on YouTube for that. But <laughs> let me chill. Let me chill. Uh, but, um, but yeah, there's I was practicing that. And then when I was praying, when I was playing it, I thought of a bio song. The song was um, DJ on uh, something mix. Uh, what the hell? I'm gonna wait you wait no uh, that song. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Loki, it's a little vibe. Loki, I'm not gonna lie. But um, that song, I'm practicing the same chords. It's the it's the same chords. It's the same thing. Like, if you stay on the verse of Bishop, it'll literally match the same chords of a lot of bow songs. Crazy. And there's a lot of bow songs, the chord progressions there, it'll match the same thing in a shut this one song. So literally, like, it's like, for me, like, I was talking with, one, with my dog Gary, you feel me? He another musician. <laughs> uh, we, was, we was in a car with a whole bunch of other people. 
And we was talking about it. There's a very like thin line between, you know, like when it comes to compa, there's a very thin line of when it'll become like a little gooey. Once you hear that, once you hear that, and then the drummer, it's done. We crossing over to the bus right there, bro. But no, no, man, you need that solo, to, I think. Yeah, we need to differentiate. But going back to what but, you were saying, though. I love worship versus praise. Um, you know, this is this is a, a study that you know um, I did. I, I got a class and I did this study. So a lot of people don't know that praise is it's all about like think about praise songs. It's about asking God, right? Always asking God, right? Um, um, songs that I can't stand. Who are you talking to? What's up? Who are you talking to? Right, uh, but worship is about giving God glory for who He is. Yeah, thank you. Know you mean? It's not about what you can gain out of it. It's not about what you can receive. It's just praising God for who He is. I just love worship, and there's nothing wrong with with praise. Nothing wrong with that, you know. But certain songs should not be a praise song because they do not reflect biblical teachings. But we say it just just to, I don't know, like, it's a feel-good song. You know, like, asking God, maybe the person that wrote it had a different idea. Yeah. But the way it sounds to me, it's like you telling God, like, what can you do for me? Like, why you can't do this for me? You know what I mean? That's how it sounds to me. I think it's because, me. in my opinion, I think it's because, especially, like, nowadays, we, 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 can, we became a generation that's very, like, too emotional. So it's like, so it's like, don't get me wrong, like, the stats are real, like, you know, suicide rates are higher, you know, depression rates are higher, all that stuff, like, they are really up right now. Mm -hmm. Um, But when that becomes the case, it's like, now all we can really do is be motivational. It's like, now all that we can, all we can really do is be a little selfish, because, like, think about, like, old, think about, like, old shows, like, you know, like, Martin. You feel me? Or like old shows like them stuff like that. Putting them putting them in do- in this day and age nowadays, a lot of people will feel hurt. A lot of people will feel like targeted. A lot of people will feel, oh, that's me. Like there's this thing now I just seen on a post not too long ago. Oh, the thumbs up emojis becoming a passive aggressive thing now. <laughs> so they're trying to get people to get rid of it. Like that stuff, that type of stuff is ridiculous. Like, so it's like when it comes to nowadays, a lot of people are just too in tune with their like not, I don't want to say too and too with their emotions. They're just too emotional. So it's like a lot of people can't really not be selfless. They can't really go to God and be like, you know, Lord, despite of what I'm going through, mm-hmm. I'm going to still give you praise. A lot of people go to God, Lord, I am going through something. Please do something do about something it. Do something now. Do something now. And I want it this way. Mm-hmm. So it's like a lot of people, we become too too selfish. And that's why I believe when it comes, it reflects in the worship. It, it reflects in the songs that we sing nowadays. Because a lot of people and a lot of artists don't want to get canceled. At all. Yeah. So we nowadays, it's hard to find songs that talk about, Lord, you're just awesome. Lord, you're good. What, what did last time we heard that song? Lord, Lord you are awesome. You feel me? Singing, if it was, if it was. Like, just yeah. singing about who he's shown himself to be. It's hard yeah. to find a lot of songs like that nowadays. It's not, man. Like, yeah, yes, it is hard to find those songs. Man. And it's kind of sad. It's kind of we too emotional, man. We gotta get rid of that. Right. Being emotional. I mean, I don't think we can get rid of it. I think it's us understanding when we in a season, we just have to keep going. Maybe it's, maybe I'm not saying it's the worship leader that have to guide the people now, but I'm saying it's like you guys have a platform where you have to let people know, like, yes, I understand this season. You are not doing as good as previously season. Like, can we worship instead? Because by worshiping God, you've just basically given him things. So we don't deserve it, you know? Like, there was a season I had to learn that I don't deserve it. For real? The, the greatest thing that God gave me was, you know, dying on the cross for me. That's it. Like, I don't deserve anything. Mm. But then, he gave me, you know, he gave me that right to ask him. So, I am going to ask. But in the midst of me asking, like, I will make sure that I thank him. I remember I had, I was just, like, 
with myself you know doing that my prayer in my prayer room and one day i had just the shortest prayer ever all i said was thank you god it helped me i was like that's the shortest prayer ever that's all i said but i was like i have to make sure i give you things i have to make sure i thank you for the upcoming things that's coming in my life because it's not like he don't know because he said it he already have a plan for me so whatever i'm gonna receive it's, it's already there i just don't know when when i'm ready for it maybe it's like you know you guys that have a platform as a worship leader or other ministry like it's the way we can teach people to understand no matter what season that you end you still have to give him things not just going and ask and ask like for me is i caught myself like when i get emotional during worship it's most of the time is because I'm thinking of how much I'm not worthy. Facts. That's when I get emotional. I don't get emotional because like I was struggling and then God got me through it. Yeah. Like, I don't get emotional when I'm going through my hardship and knowing that there's light at the end of the tunnel. I don't get emotional in those type of worship. But when I reflect on my life and know like how big God is on my life or, or how, how big he is for me, like for him to accept me for him to die for me, for him to still love me, that's when I get emotional in worship. You know, and I, I'll, I'll cry on that stage and nobody will know it, you know, but it has nothing to do with what I want or what I'm, like you know, you coming are, out of. You are, like, going to. Yeah, so but... it's all about, like, why I said all this, because it's about your heart posture. It's about what is your worship, you know, to me. Sometimes I feel like we just got to understand the blessing that we want you don't deserve it. the healing mm -hmm. that you want. You don't, don't deserve, deserve it. it. All your desires, you don't deserve it at all. But that grace. But grace. Mm -hmm. is the that's grace. the only reason why it, it covers the you're multitude. even getting it. Because of multitude. grace. So yeah. it's like once we understand that I don't deserve it, Lord. And because I don't deserve it, I'm still going to give you praise. Mm -hmm. Because I've recognized that the only reason why I even got it in the first place was because of you. Okay. Grace Lord, is him. What God. we want is him. So yeah. why are we going why are we asking for stuff? I'll say this. Let you be the worshiper. Don't let the platform make you a worshiper. True. True. Because a lot of time we want to stay in our platforms. We want to stay on that stage. And we say we call ourselves worshipers. Right? But when you're off the stage, when you know there's no eyes on you, are you a worshiper? Hmm. Because you have to be a worshiper in the dark. Yeah. when nobody's looking that's when you have to be a worshiper and then that that relationship you have with god will reflect on the stage but True. if you looking at the stage to be a worshiper he's always gonna look for that i'm always gonna want to go through something to overcome i'm always going to um have to you know look for inspiration within the chaos in my life you know but be a worshiper yourself and not depending on the like stage. doing other things yeah. but um and crystal like i wanted to know how important it is for a worship leader i know i stick in a worship leader for it because i know you do a lot of things you know but it's just like how big it is to like i mean testimony when it comes to testimony as a worship leader how important it is to be part of like of a set where it's like as a worship leader you're allowing other people not to be in your life your private life but at least to know like how God oh, no, they all up in your business. <laughs> yeah. you can <laughs> I mean, why do you have to be in everybody's business? But... Speak on it. They all up in your business. Yeah, they are. But you gotta speak about yourself so somebody else can be inspired. Even though know, God still works. He's still in the uh he's still healing. He's still a way maker on this people. And forever God, honestly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I remember um Quick testimony. Give yeah. <laughs> it to us. Give we it love to that us. I'm going to do right. it short, though. It's going to be short. So, I never gave this testimony out, though. I planned to. I want to do, like, an action, I guess. I guess. Um, so, it was just the four of us. Me, my brother, my two cousins. You know, we out. We got paintball guns. We shooting people and stuff. We had a hit list and everything. And That's crazy. We went to certain, I ain't going to say no cities, because we went down to certain cities. Then, when we came back up, it's around, came back up around 3 a.m., so now we hit in this last house. Paintball guns sound like a real gunshot. Remember, it's 3 a.m. in the morning. So we over here playing around. We're driving around because we find we're trying to find a target. Find a target. Started shooting. All you hear is shots coming to us. Yeah. And all you hear is me saying, 
Doug, everybody get down, everybody get down. And I'm in the back. My cousin's in the front, my other cousin's in the front. My brother's sitting next to me. I'm like, everybody get down. Get down, all right? And I'm like, drive, bro. And I, I, I ain't say exactly that. I was cussing. I was like, drive, man. Uh, drive. Because he, he was stuck. My, my cousin was stuck. I'm like, why you up? Why you up? Why you up? Why you up? <laughs> get on, drive. Right. Let's go. Drive. And then once we drive, you just see blood dripping down one of my cousin's face, the one in the passenger seat. I'm like, all right, all right. Yeah, so... You see the um, I don't know, is the thing that comes off the bullet? The 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 the, the shell. The shell. I seen it on the jacket because he had a hoodie on. I seen it on the jacket and blood is dripping on it. I'm like, okay, yeah, it just grazed him. That's that's what I'm thinking. We're on our way to um, the hospital, and the driver is just stuck. He's stuck. He's like, eh. he don't know where we are going. He's, I'm like, what are you doing? The hospital's this way, and I was shocked that I was still like able to be function. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm like, okay. We get to the hospital. Oh my God. He has a bullet in his brain. He got out the same day. How many people do you hear? He got out the same day. Getting shot in the head. In the noggin. Come on. To this day, it's still here. It's in his jaw. And if you see him, you will never, you will never know. Unless he told you his testimony. I just... I remember just sitting out there and me, my brother, my other cousin, while my cousin, st- my other cousin still inside the the hospital. And they're like trying to get information out of us. Like, what's going on? What happened? Stuff like that. We sitting there watching the sun rise up. Looked at my dad come up. And I'm like, damn, my heart dropped. I'm like, damn, my dad's coming. That, and it was on the, ended up being on a Sunday morning too. So imagine we got to be at church. I got to be singing. My brother's going to be on the um, drums. My other cousin on the piano. The other one's on bass. Wow, we're not there. That's the whole team, <laughs> right? So that was that was big. That was big. A life lesson, like don't play with God. It happened on a Halloween night. We didn't even peep that November first was that Sunday morning. We didn't even peep that to the next day. We're like Halloween. So that was like, yeah, we're not playing. To this day, still in his head, still alive. He went to work like a week after, healed, stronger than ever. I just thank God. Every time I see him, I'm like, yeah, there is a God. There is a God. Wow. That's tough. Shout yeah. out. Well, yeah. thank you for sharing that on Tap In. Yes. Um, man, like, and it's the foolishness that we do. We yeah. put ourselves in certain situations not knowing that there could be a deadly outcome. Yeah. Right? And you guys were just playing around? Playing. We were just playing around. And and the houses that you got, we were going through... Were they like people you knew? Yeah, people we knew. So I would do it all over again. <laughs> no, I would do it all over again. It was worth it. Cause that it was really... worth him almost dying. No, <laughs> <laughs> I guess the lesson you behind say it. it right. You gotta say it right. It was worth it because it was just like the lesson behind. Like he's still God. He's letting you know, yo chill. I see what you mean. The spiritual mm-hmm. lesson behind. The spiritual yeah. lesson. I'll right. say, and man. Because if it wasn't for God, like he wouldn't be here. He wouldn't be here. And the people that shot at you guys, like, did they realize? Um, I think they ended up catching them. Okay. But what was given our like, um, what was given our statements? The lady was like, "Put your right hand up, square." Blah, blah, blah. And then she was like, "Tell us what happened." I said, "I don't remember nothing." She said, "Do we need to check you in into a psychiatric?" Well, I was like, "Yeah, you might as well." I'm not telling you nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember nothing because we ain't trying to let our parents know what really happened. You feel me? All right. To this day, like we only know what really happened. That's what makes us so close to the to this. So you never revealed this part of it to the. That's more I left out, but you know that's just, that's just what everybody <laughs> that's else knows. <laughs> yeah, no. So how, how's the case now? Because you said they they. Um, I I think they caught them, but he's still good. Um, and the case is closed. Yeah, it's wow. closed. We Do not play parties. around. Like no. that, that, don't play with God. Don't play, don't play with, God. with God. Don't, don't play, play with God. History. You know, sometimes like we we take that coverage under His wing, and we think we could do whatever we <laughs> want. You know, but can I'm, I'm covered. Like I'm covered by the blood. You know, and we sit here and we bash people. We, we, we by covered by the blood. Like it's we crazy. destroy people's lives. We covered by the blood. We try to, you know, like. Man, do not play with God, man. God is nothing to play with. And after that, like, the way people are looking at us after, because mm-hmm. before you just, what did you move? Put him in the top right now. Now they're looking at you like, I used to hear the craziest thing. Oh, 
you thought one cocaine. I'm like, oh, yeah. oh, from the people that you would least expect it from. That's what. That's the crazy part. And it was just like, wow, did you really have my back for real, man? My sister in Christ, my brother in Christ. But that that's the church, though. And I was like, wow, that that's the church. And it was hard to continue. Yeah. To do ministry with, with all these people looking at you now, even in a different state of mind. And I, there was only a few that be like, hey, how are you doing? doing? It's okay. Yeah. Prophet Uncle. All right. How did you recover? It's hard to, woo. How did you recover? I didn't, I didn't take a shower for like seven days. The blood, <laughs> the blood was still on me. I did not eat for like seven days. Straight. My brother took a shower the same night. It was just the next, it was just. He was good because he, he was, was younger. Good. Yeah, no, but he to this day he's just like a nonchalant guy, honestly. But I did not take travel like seven days. He was like, "Yeah, you solo." Like, <laughs> <laughs> solo means dirty. Being, being, <laughs> being older, one because that was another thing too. Like, oh, be gone. This, this. I'm like, I'm glad I did it with them instead of friends. Like that would have probably like. Well, me well, no, no, no. You shouldn't have done it with them. And I, <laughs> <laughs> I, like, I get it i get it we get it we get it it's family like i got you but think about it though you know now we can do that right we monday morning quarterback in this like it would have been your you your 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 brother and two cousins mm -hmm. like, and, and it's just me and my brother and my dad every year on the same date the day we got shot it? oh yeah early morning november 1st every november 1st I don't believe, I don't believe. dick hot dive this means two caskets, two they two got, holes. Mm -hmm. That's it. Let me bojimi no. That's what he said. Shout out to that. your daughter in this shout out to that. <laughs> Last year he called my brother. This year I think it's gonna be my call. <laughs> <laughs> like, they kind of they that, hang up. Like what's the part that's so Jerry, dramatic? Yeah. Like, he was pissed. I don't blame him because he would lost two kids that one day. Yeah. yeah. For foolishness. For foolishness. That's it. Man. Uh -huh. Crazy. So with that being said, Christella. What is your message to young ministers out there? Take God serious. He's not a toy you can play with. Amen. He's not a microwave. You can't just put him in the microwave and be like, boop, boop, boop. He's a, like, he takes his time. Trust his time, man. And dwell in his presence more. Pray. Like, really get into prayer. Not no, thank God for this day. Amen. No, like, really get into prayer. Even when you don't feel like praying. Tap in for real. Tap in. Tap in. She locked in for real. I, I feel that. Tap in. Hey, look, I don't think we need to say anything more. Nope. Yeah, right? Um, Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and follow us <laughs> on Not like that. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, we do we'll, we do appreciate a like, a subscription. Yes. You know, comment down below. Um, we want to thank Christella. She's coming from a long way to be with us today. Yes. Today. So yes. we appreciate that a whole yeah. lot. Um, hope to have you back. You of know, course, so anytime, anytime. Welcome to tap <laughs> bring, bring BHBC, bring the whole thing. <laughs> bring, bring the musicians. <laughs> yes, yeah, we're gonna sit down with the musicians. <laughs> what? What do they know? Why do they end off with dun 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 dun? dun, dun, dun. Why? Because sometimes it's never gonna be a joke. Because oh, oh. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna keep it a buck. I Next it time on tap. <laughs> Musician <laughs> edition. Yes, yes. I can give it a buck. <laughs> Until next time, this is your boy Faith of Sam. I'm chilling with the crew. We have our special guest, Christella. Go check out the music. Okay? Yes, uh, Link in our bio. Uh, go ahead and tap, 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 tap. Tap, tap. Let's go. <laughs>